Hello and welcome back to this Final Fantasy IX Let's Play with me SLJRPG. Um, in the last episode we made our way back to Torino um, and did some did some side missions. We uh, tackled the monster in the weapon shop, we bought ourselves some new materials and we ventured back to Dali. And in this episode we are going first and foremost to head and do this card tournament that we have to do. So this is the card stadium. The card you stay me is gathering place for nobles. Would you need to play the card game? You need five cards to play. Approach anyone and press X. There's. Well. So I need to ask here, but registration for the card tournament is still open. You must win two games before you can challenge the champion. Fantastic prizes await the contestant who defeats the champion. What's the champion like? Lo and behold. Is he that amazing? Oh yes, very much so. Just tell me what he's like. Well... Whisper, whisper, whisper. What? She's a cutie in a satyr's uniform? Well, I'll have to challenge her. Let's see. Go ahead and register. Sure, I'll register. Anything to meet this girl. Sedane does not stop. Please enter through the gate. The game will begin automatically. So... Let's go play some cards. First round. Attic Man Awake. Right, I have not played this card game that much. But we do have some nice cards here to use, so let us use these. I'm going to take a Mithril Sword as well. We'll take that one. Should I take the Tomberry or should I take the Troll? That is the question. Let's take the Tomberry. <sighs> this all seems kind of nonsensical to me, so I don't really know. Nonsensical, sorry. I don't really know how to win. Surely Shiva will be both of these. What? That makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Let's think about this. Okay, so that did not go well. <laughs> right, let's do this, guys. <laughs> that did not go well at all. We'll take that Sangolum. I'm gonna go for all of the cards which look like they have more area to cover. But I will take Shiva because you've got to figure that she's probably the best. And we'll take the Nymph. Okay. Nicely done. Not so nicely done, but that's fine because we've got Shiva here. That makes no sense. That also makes no sense. <laughs> this may, may be a long, uh, a long thing, guys. Right. <sighs> I have not been playing this card game at all. And I know that we have to play it to proceed. And I know this is a big complaint of this game in general. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's go here. Okay. 
this is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we won that one. But we lost. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pause, and then I'll get you back when I've won one. I actually won one. <laughs> right, there we go. What do we need? We'll take this guy. Because we haven't got a crawler card. And we achieved an allotment. That, that shows you how much we've been playing these cards. And we've got an active time event. <laughs> oh, it's you, Emerald. What are you doing, looking at the lake? I thought you'd be the quiet type. Sorry, maybe I've changed. It's probably his influence. Zedin, huh? So, did you find out what you were looking for? Well, I've been investigating Kuja. Some people seem to think that the king, the owner of this mansion, is Cuba. True, I found people who witnessed Kuja on his property, but there's no proof that Kuja is Lord King. Hmm. What do you know? Nothing, really. Maybe I can find out the truth in the, from the Mac mansion's auctioneer. Don't hold your breath. What's your story? You seem to know your way around. Are you f also here for a reason? To moi, I am only an unemployed security guard. Security guard? It was painfully dull until the day he showed up. I've said too much. Hey, wait. What, are you interested in hearing about my past? Of course I'm interested. Okay, there we go. Right, time for another game. <laughs> Mario of the Slums. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So... that guy and I'm just looking for one that has a good set of goes. I mean we have the metal sword I feel like that's a good mix. Ooh, a frog. Done. Nice, and we will definitely be taking that numbing weight. <laughs> I still don't really understand this game. You won twice, advance to the final when you're ready. A word of caution, you only have one chance to play in the final round, be careful. Find a Moogle and save now if you have any doubts. How did I know about my time? There was, there was he and I met for the first time. Who is he? Zidane. I thought the two of you just met. I don't think he remembers. I was working as a security guard at this mansion. I was looking for a fight. It didn't matter who as long as he was strong. Thief! That was too easy. Who are you? You look like a wealthy opponent. Mm -hmm. So you're the king's family's infamous new security guard, huh? What if I am? Hasn't got me any actions yet. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Mm -hmm. So you're just a thug. 
What did you call me? My favorite kind. I'll knock you out in one minute flat. Don't disappoint me. Where did that thief go? <laughs> Here they come. I won't let them interfere. Come on. Don't be silly. The game's over. What? Help! He came out of that door when I was passing by. I was staring him because I thought he might be a burglar, then he started pummeling me. But he's a guard for Zimashon. That's why he's suspicious. Look at him. We've always had our suspicions, but... I'm gonna call the police. You guys hold him off until they get here. I'll tell you one thing. The truly muddy ones don't flaunt their power. How can I describe it to you? The sly girl hides his claws. <clears throat> I'm out of here. Bye bye got you now. You're here right. Hey. <laughs> so you... I... Uh, became a wanted man. <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, I just didn't expect you to pull such a childish trick. It's no concern of yours. I'm sorry. I see. I see. So that's what happened. Don't get me wrong. I don't hold the grudge against him. But I need to understand him. He doesn't flaunt his power. He only cares about being with his friends. We were destined to meet each other again. Two men walking the same path are destined to confront each other one day. That's what a man told me some time ago. Honestly, it's a virtue. That's if you can manage to stay alive. There we go. So. Take that thing off. I don't want it. Hand, go away. <laughs> so, we've got another active time event here. Premonition. I'm back! Welcome back. How did you like Trino? Hmm, it was okay. Do you prefer your own village? Yeah, but it's fun to meet different people. I've only had my muggle, Moogles till now. Just the Moogles? What about the others? They're gone. I'm all alone now. I see. So you were the sole survivor of the Subnet tribe. Why does everyone know about my heart and the Italians? I'm a researcher of sorts. I'm just curious. I see. Oh yeah, you were Dagger's teacher, right? Well, yes. Teach me how to become a graceful princess like her. <laughs> the princess used to be a rumbustus girl, just like you. Do you think I can be just like her when I grow up? Oh, of course. I'm glad to hear that. You see Dagger give me her mocker the princess. The mock of the princess? Yeah, Dagger gave me one of hers. Now she's got two and I've got two. Do you mean the legendary crystals? Yeah, that's what Dagger called them too. I see. So the crystals were divided. One piece remained in Alexandria, while the others were sent to Clara and Limbum and the Sumner tribe took the last piece to Madinsari. But why did they have to split the crystal? What happened 500 years ago to pump such an action? Ah, excuse me. I'm sorry, I got lost in my thoughts sometimes. Miss Eko? Mark is calling me. Mark wanted to talk to a Moogle she met here in Trino, so I left her there, but something's wrong. I have a bad feeling about this. I gotta go get Mark. There we go. We are going to save. So, just as the guy at the front said, we will be winning this game. Because I want the thing. I want the stuff, the goods. And knowing me, I am probably going to lose it first time. <laughs> but, let's carry on.
This way, Regent. Yes, I know. But remember my condition. You must behave like a champion. Let's register. I'm the champion, Eren. I'd like to enter the tournament, please. Ah, we've been waiting for you. Please go inside. Thanks, hey. Ew, Dad, it's an uncle up. Go away, you filthy old clop. Um, I'm sorry, but this old clop is my champion's pet. I'm sorry. It's okay. Since when am I your pet? Well, you are an old clop right now, after all. Silence! I'm a champion! No one understands. I heard the champion is a master of winning games with Oglop cards. Her name is Erin the Oglop Master. Sailor Erin. Right. This will no doubt go badly. We're going to take the <laughs> Namming Way card anyway. And we'll take this, this, the Sangolum, and the Nymph. Okay, so these things are strong, but this may be easier than we thought. Do we risk it? Perfect. And we received all the Oclops. Nice. <laughs> received a rebirth ring. You're the winner, so the champion was an airship pilot from Limbo. I'm Eren, the airship pilot. Nice to meet you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the champion. Hey, yeah, Regent Sid. You're still on our black I see. Our glop, I see. And you still haven't learned any manners. Come me some slack, will you? What are you doing here anyway? Mainly participating in a tournament. There was something I wanted to test. What are you testing? A new airship, Hildegard 2. The one that can fly without mist? Correct. We can't go very fast yet, but we made it to Trino. Why now? I have a funny feeling that there'll be more trouble on the horizon. Don't you worry. I'm sure our almighty Queen Garnet will take care of everything. Oh no, this is horrible. What's up, Echo? Oh, it's horrible. A mugger from Chino just told me. What's wrong? It's that Exonier. Something horrible is happening. Peace. Peace is just a shadow of death, desperate to forget its painful past. Thought we hope for promising years after shedding thousands of tears. Yesterday's soul constantly nears. And while the moon still shines blue, by dawn it will turn a scarlet hue. What an auspicious day for Alexandria. Garnet's ascension to the throne has brought hope and peace to this kingdom. I thought it was going to be Steiner, but there you go. The people are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. <laughs> but the celebration isn't over yet. It's time to really lighten things up. Your former master is here, Bahamut. Pay our quim for her and all of Alexandria. This way, hurry! I don't want to die!
your highness. That's Bahamut, isn't it? Beatrix, please gather our soldiers. Yes, your highness. Our soldiers have already assembled and await your orders. Hurry up, you fools! This is an emergency! Get your axe together before the princess arrives! Line up! Your Highness, as you can see, they're ready to act at any time. Please give your orders. So, we were actually given uh, hints to this during the collection stage. So, if to gather the information, we need to give that to Blutzen and Coel. We'll gather all the information you need, Your Highness. For protecting the townspeople, we need Weimar and Hagen. Our lives will protect the citizens of Alexandria. For contact Limburg to request reinforcements, will be Brecht and Lordo. We'll contact Limburg immediately, Your Highness. And for the preparation of the fire cannons, Joe Bonner and Milkenheim. You are splendid, Your Highness. Beatrix, let's go. Everyone's gone. I don't know what to do. Mother, I need your help. It, Beatrix. I will give my oath, Alexandria. Well said. Let us march on to victory. So, first things first. It's been a while. But we don't have much of these. We're going to give her the Golden Helm with Steiner. It's been a very long time. We're going to give him the Coral Sword. The Cross Helm, the Diamond Gloves, we're just going to give them all the best armor for now, because I just think that makes the most sense, because that has been a while, and I don't think there's anything else that needs doing right now, so we'll keep the power belt on him. This is why it's kind of important to use that, uh, use that time the ability up as well to use that time we were given during the escape uh, to kind of go ahead and level them up a bit um, so we're at 20 now so first things first let's take these mr. Ones. It's very jolly music for an attack on Alexandria. <laughs> it's got to be said. <laughs> so, once again, these things are weak to life, which Beatrix holds. So, that will be the majority of this. <laughs> Like I've said before, I don't know why you just don't have loads of people throwing Phoenix Downs at everyone. But, let's continue on south. The reason you want to take the stuff off Cross Helm, the Cross Helm, etc. Beware, Beatrix, the enemy is close. It's because you don't actually get to keep that spoilers. But, so you may as well take the items whilst you can.
and we've learned the MP attack. So, whilst we can, that means everything's done, not quite done on the power belt, but everything's done on the cross helm. So, we will equip the golden helm as we make our way forward. You wish to fight us, you despicable beast! For Her Highness! <laughs> then we got two, but like I said previously, it's not going to be that hard. Unfortunately, you can't cast life at all. So that's one down, and then Steiner is there to deal a blow. And we shall just attack with Beatrix now. Let's take this time. Just to use some cures and proceed on. We must wake our way. Prepare to die! <laughs> Do an attack with Steiner, and then just, just attack the Mr. Dawn, and that should be okay. We'll do that option if if it comes up, but we'll use white magic if not. Then once again, more experience. Beatrix, are you all right? I'm fine. What about you? You're wounded. It's just a scratch. Persistent bastards. <laughs> swearing in a game. I think there's like slight swearing in Final Fantasies, but it can't be too much. I think like guideline rules mean that you're only allowed like I think it's like one fuck for something to be under PG twelve rated, but I don't know exactly <laughs> what the rules are. I don't think we've had a fuck. We've certainly had some bastards. But I suppose that varies how what that means between a whole bunch of people. This is futile. Let us return to the castle. No, I cannot face the princess until we destroy all of these beasts. On my honor, I vow to protect the princess and the citizens of Alexandra and... Beatrix, I shall protect you. Steiner. Watch out. Yeah, this music is, is not, <laughs> not apt to the situation at all. I think that's a bit of a, a world-building negative there, but... So, Steiner hit him with that Coral Sword. Beatrix. Finish him off. And there we go. We got ourselves an ether. <clears throat> this might be it for us. I have no regrets. Beatrix, there is something I must tell you. What is it? I. Save your val dictation, Steiner. We'll live to see another day. And we're in trance. El Steiny boy.
Oh, Stanley can one hit. One shot stuff here. And we learn charge. I'm gonna level up a little bit. Just very, very nice. Hmm? I hear music. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from upstairs? First things first. Is there anything that we should equip? On dagger. So we've got aquamarine. We've got a whole bunch of different things we should learn. Let's do aquamarine first. As we make our way. To the Queen's room. And it blocks away on the way up. Which is interesting. I forgot about that. What is this place? I can still hear the music. Where is it coming from? What am I doing here? Mother? Sedane? No. I can't depend on them anymore. As the Queen of Alexandria, I must protect my kingdom. Queendom. The ship is rocking pretty bad. It can't be helped. I designed the ship as an club after all, so I have no idea what could happen. Sounds like it might crash at any minute. Perhaps. But I think we can at least make it to Alexandria. Oh man. I guess we'd better cross our fingers. Sedane? I'm starting to feel sick. It's probably from the flight. Go inside and get some rest. Try to stay in the middle of the ship, you feel less movement. Go on, Vivi. Okay, thanks. Echo? What? I saw something sparkle. Huh? Dagger? Dagger? Iko, what's going on? I thought I just heard Dagger's voice. What? Gee, something's wrong with this ship. This light. Maybe it's a holy judgment. A holy judgment? What are you doing? The summoner has been called. Alexandria's God's judgment has come.
Echo, how, why are you here? I heard your voice in the airship. No wonder. I felt your presence too. All of a sudden, I was covered in light. It's happening again. Dagger, it's the light of destiny. The light of destiny? A summoner's light of destiny, brought on by hidden powers of the full jewels. This is light appears when a holy Ilion calls for a summoner. Come on, Dagger, as soon as we have to fulfill our destiny. But I don't know what to do. It's okay, I'll show you. First, we put our hands together. Like this? Uh huh. Now, pray in your heart. Oh, holy guardian, hear our prayers. Darkness overshadows us once again. O oh, Holy Guardian, hear our prayers. Deliver us out of darkness into light. It's so beautiful, Alexander the Legendary Eidolon. So you wish to defend the castle with your, with your brilliant wings? How admirable. Your powers even transcend Bahamut's. Alexander, I've been waiting for you. I've been called a ma magical carriage view. I'm sure you'll like it. Invincible, come forth. You're mine, Alexander. Meeting a first, first time you meet this guy. I grant you freedom to do as you wish, Gaia, for one purpose alone. Now that you have lost sight of your mission, I will no longer tolerate your actions. You have not the slightest idea whom you are defying. I will show you soon enough. You too, Zidane. Who is he? What happened to the Invincible? Enslave Alexander as you enslaved Bahamut. <laughs> Could it be? Garland. Impossible. Why would he have come to Gaia? If that's indeed Garland, then he must know my plan. But why has he assumed control of the Invincible? No, he can't be.
was quite a trip. You little bug, we could have been killed. Amaranth's right, it was a mistake to come here on that airship. Well, we had to get here somehow. Come on, guys, we made it here in one piece. That's all that matters. That's right. Um, I'm never gonna ride on an airship again. Never ever. Sorry, Vivi. Captain. Where's the Highness? I don't know, we're looking for her too. Shoot, I must find the captain. Alright, let's go find Dagger. We have to find Eco too. They're probably together. And, on that note, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, guys. And I will see you next time. Peace.